Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today it is time to do my March um, TBR jar picks my March reads. Um, as you can see here, I did not read a lot off of my February TBR. Um, I still have about a week left of February, so, and I actually have started Sad Cypress, so I think I can finish this book before the end of the month. Um, so I am not going to, um, roll that over just because I think I'm going to finish that book. So I'm not going to add that one back to my TBR. Like I said, it started. However, um, The Death and Life of the Great Lakes I did not read. And I did not read The Mysterious Benedict Society and the Perilous Journey. So I'm going to add those two back to my TBR. I also have a very full TBR and I actually have... A couple down here. Um, I got a new bookshelf for my birthday, so we're still kind of working with how I want to organize it. Um, and I have a bunch of books that were borrowed to me for my birthday, and I got a um, few new books. And I just went to the store and picked up Legendary and Finale, um, which are the next two books, or the um, last two books in the Carnival series. So those are going to get added to my TBR. Um, I actually have a gift card. So those cost me like six bucks, which was nice. Um, so I feel pretty good about that. But without further rambling, let's get to picking some prompts. So in March, I do have a week off of work. So I think I'm going to pick six because I did five on February's TBR. I actually read a lot of books in February. I just happened to read a lot of library books. So I think I can read six books and we're really going to focus on March TBR, hopefully more than my library books. But let's pick some. Okay, first one. Ooh, one word title. So let's take a look. Okay, here are my options. Um, I can, can do Educated by Tara Westover. Um, I could do Flipped, which is like a young adult book, um, which this is when I want to read and declutter. I got it for free, so I'm going to pass it on. Or I could do the next book in the Carval series, which is Legendary. Um, which I just added to my TBR. So this one is brand new. This one is a one I, I want to read it and pass it on. And this one is a borrowed book to me. Um, let, let me look and see what I really want to read. Okay, I'm going to go with Legendary, which is the next book in the Carval series. I'm really excited to read this. Um, I liked the ending of Carval. I'll talk about that more in my all I books are all the books I read in February. So you'll have to watch that to figure out my thoughts on it. But I'm gonna add this one to my TBR for a one word title. Okay, let's pick book number two. Number two, a mystery book. Okay, I'm going to have to go through these and see what I have for mysteries. Okay, I think I'm going to go with the cartographers. This sounds like there's a mystery in it. Um, it says when her father is found dead in his office, um, she can't risk invest or she can't help but resist investigating. So I think I'm going to go with the cartographers. This is also a borrowed book to me so I can read it and return it to the person it belongs to. So that's book number two. go for number three. Okay, I got one here. Number three, part of a series. Okay, I think I have quite a few that are part of a series, so let me take a look. Okay, I'm going to go with Fourth Wing. Um, I just got this book for my birthday. I'm really excited to read it. And it is part 
of a series. I believe it's a, is it a duology? I'm not sure. I don't know that much about this, but um, I do know I love the cover and I've heard a lot of good things. So um, we'll do fourth wing. Okay, we got three more picks. I think that's just one. Okay, title starts with a vowel. Let's see what we have. Okay, I can either go with Einstein's Dreams or Under the Lilacs. Um, Einstein's Dreams has actually been on my list of books I've really wanted to read for a while and it is only 140 pages. I think I'm going to go with Einstein's Dreams. Plus, this book has such a nice texture. That one looks so small compared to some of these other books on here. So we'll put Under the Lilacs back on the shelf. And pick number five. Set in a different country. Okay, this might have, this might take me a while, so let me see what I've got. Okay, we've got some options. I can do The Book Eaters. It's um, set in Yorkshire, which I believe is England. Um, I can do The Zookeeper's Wife. This is set in Poland. Um during World War II, it seems like. I could do At the Water's Edge. It is set in the Scottish Highlands. I could do The Little Wartime Library, which is set in um, London. And I think this one is also a borrowed book to me. Um, or I could do Star in the Storm. This one is set in Newfoundland. And this is actually a book that my boyfriend got me. It's a children's book. It's about a Newfoundland in Newfoundland. Um, and it seems really cute and fun. So, hmm. That's a lot of choices. So this is my book. This one's borrowed. This one's mine. It's been in my TBR forever. This is one I got for free, which I think once I read, I'll probably declutter it. This one's also my book, but it's newer. I think I'm going to go with At the Water's Edge. Oh, I could have used this one for, um, started with a vowel too. I missed this one, but I think I'm going to go with At the Water's Edge. So we'll add these back up here. So you have one, two, three, four, five. We'll pick... One more for number six. Ooh, got two. Okay, number six. Ooh, a three word title. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna have to do some counting and I will be right back. Okay, here are the choices that I'm going to go with. I'm either going to go with the love hypothesis Check and mate, or oh, that was four words, so we cannot go with that one. So we're going to either go with check and mate or the love hypothesis. These are both borrowed books to me by my sister. I think I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna go with check and mate, um, and just add a little bit of young adult romance on there so let's go through our six six books that we chose for the month of march one word title legendary Mystery, The Cartographers, Part of a Series, Fourth Wing, 
title starts with a vowel, Einstein's dreams. Set in a different country at the at the water's edge. And three word title, check and mate. So I am pretty excited about my March TBR. I think I'm going to actually be able to do a lot of reading and I really want to tackle a lot of my physical TBR in March. Um, I worked a lot on my TBR list in February and you can watch my video which will be coming out next week on all the books that I read in February. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!